A to-do list for people and planet and a blueprint for success. In just a few words, UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon laid out the importance of the new Sustainable Development Goals, which will guide development action through the year 2030. The new development agenda also signals global acknowledgement of the importance of financial inclusion. Inclusive finance is recognized in the goals as a catalytic tool to advance human development, addressing poverty, hunger, gender equality, economic growth and much more. Our challenging next step is to implement those new development goals. But it is important to reflect on the progress we have made already. Access to finance has expanded by 700 million people in just three years, giving these 700 million people opportunities they previously did not have. I have seen the impact of financial inclusion on the ground in the lives of people like Jana Islam. Her textile workshop in Bangladesh demonstrates what financial inclusion can do for gender equality and women's economic empowerment. From individual stories to huge data sets, the evidence of the past and the present suggests that universal financial inclusion is within our reach. But our focus in the coming year will need to expand and deepen. The fast-growing financial technology sector has the potential to improve access and usage and help us reach excluded populations. Still, a wider discussion of consumer protection is necessary. Closer attention is also needed to offering financial products that consumers want, need and will really use. Looking forward, we must continue to strengthen links between financial inclusion and development. We must dig more deeply into how to deliver real value to the poor. Ultimately, improving lives is a promise of financial inclusion.